The yellowfin tuna is one of the hardest fighting fish in the ocean. And my God, they come in a variety of different sizes and shapes and inhabit a variety of different geographical areas. But boy, do they pull hard. The San Diego fleet, many of them take off on a regular basis south of the border because the yellowfin prefers such warm waters and tropical waters to put you onto these yellowfin tuna. But every once in a while, some of these fish will filter into even the local areas, not the big ones. Like you see here, it's the Qualifier 105 is backing in. These fish are caught down below. And you see John Grabowski onto a fish that they think will go 400 pounds. Take a look at the size of that yellowfin tuna. Magnificent fish on the long range scene out of San Diego. But the yellowfin also will show up in local water sometimes. And so, especially during 1992 and Eno season, we all got a shot at some yellowfin tuna. And whether they're small, whether they're big, they all pull ever so hard. They're a magnificent fish, and we're so happy you are along with us to take on the yellow as we look and scour over the oceans and put you into the yellowfin tuna. Thanks for joining us. And I'll tell you one thing about fishing the yachts like we are here on board the Crest is the fact that you've got so much room. This boat, the Crest, is a 50-footer, and we've got six anglers on board. That's it. When you fish the yacht, you go with six people, and man, I'll tell you, you can really stretch out. And in the 1992 El Nino season, we had yellowfin tuna as close as 10 miles from Port Loma. I mean, a stone throw. And in this case right here, we're only 22 miles from the point when we got our first jig bite, and the guys threw some bait, and Bill Blake, well, you can see Billy doing a nice job heading up toward the bow as he's pulling on a yellowfin tuna. Rick Lyman back there in the stern. He's also hooked up to a nice yellowfin tuna. Let me tell you, folks, for local yellowfin, that close to the point, 20-pound average is nothing to stop at. A really nice grade of fish. Well, folks, these anglers that got hooked up, Larry up here in the bow on an absolutely gorgeous day on board the crest and Bill. These guys made sure that they chose those good hot beans. I know we emphasize it a lot, but it's so very important to your success when you're fishing the yellowfin tuna. The yellowfin is a particularly wily type fish, and if you don't throw that hot bait, you're not going to get bit. So make sure, in all cases, to take your time. What are you looking for? You're looking for that bait with a lot of scales. You're looking for that hot bait. The hardest one in the well to catch is the bait you want to flip out there. That's the one that's going to get you bit. And after all, that is what you're after. Nice yellow fan tuna up there in the bow for Larry as Willie lifts it up. And boy, oh boy, I tell you, Larry just as thrilled as can be on a flat cum gorgeous. El Nino 1992 morning. Bill Blake still locked up in a struggle. And you can see Bill employing that short stroking method, short pumping those fish, raising that rod tip a little bit, winding down on a deep color on another nice yellow fan tuna. He's going to start yelling any second now. Hey! Don't forget about me up here. I need a gaff. I need a stick right now. And you'll see Fish come up and give him a hand. Yeah, that's his nickname, Fish. Don't ask me where he came from, but they call him Fish, and he seems to do a nice job out there on board the crash. He's walking up with a stick, a real hot fish, because Bill really pulled hard on him. And that's something you've got to be careful about. When you really pull hard on these fish, sometimes they come up very, very hot, so you've got to lay them out just as gently and as nicely as you possibly can. When I say lay them out, Never lift their head out of the water. Just keep them just a few inches below the surface. Nice and laid out just like that. And that fish is on board the crest as fish is going to get another shot at it right now and put it on board. Another nice yellowfin tuna. Most of this fish in the 20-pound class. And here's another nice fish coming on board. Beautiful grade of fish for as close as we are. And I'll tell you what, you know, we didn't leave until 4 o'clock in the morning on this trip. No! There's no need to leave at 10 or anything like that. We just punched out there nice and slow. Rick Lyman with his fish up there in the bow, and we were out in the grounds. Nothing like it. Nothing like fishing yellowfin. And the great thing about the El Nino seasons, when you have all that warm water flushed up, you can really get it on. Speaking of getting it on, our good buddy Rich Holland from Western Outdoor News. Rich can't only write, and man, can he write. I enjoy his articles every single week in Western Outdoor News. Alvarez and I really do. But I'll tell you what, Rich can pull on fish, and he puts this fish on in an awful hurry. Rich went to the 25-pound model. Now, that's something that I want you to do with these yellowfin tuna. I want you to keep your eye on the bite. If it's a finicky kind of bite, if the fish are not wide open, you don't see a lot of boils, you don't see the fish gobbling every bait you throw, stay to that light stuff. But if they start to really romp and stomp, if they really start to go, well, Holland's smart enough and an angler that's been doing it for a long time now, 
He knew to go to a little bit heavier line, the 25, with a little bit bigger hook. You want to go to that 2030 -oh -oh size hook when you're throwing the big baits. And that got Holland bit right now. I mean, right now. Rich heading up toward the bow stand right with that fish, keeping it right in front of him and doing really a fabulous job on another yellowfin tuna. Holland's kind of looking down on the water. Alvarez is filming away and cracking as many jokes as he can to get Holland off his game, but Rich won't be deterred from apprehending another nice yellowfin tuna. Take a look at the size of this fish. Another beautiful job by Rich Holland on board the Yacht Crest. Are they wide open or what? They must be cement. Even I could hook a fish. Folks, John Ackley's been on his fish for 15 minutes. Look, I don't mean to rub it in, John, but you've been on your fish for 15 minutes. I just hooked mine, and I'm going to put all my weight into this one. Man, that poor fish, all my weight. I am really pulling just about as hard as I can, and sometimes you can just turn those fish around right at the very beginning. For whatever reason, you set the hook, and you wind down on them, you start to stroke on them, and they just keep coming. And if they do, don't relax. Keep putting the pressure on them. Here comes a trick. i got to squeeze by John Ackley and slide up the rail. Can I do it? I think I'll get stuck on a gap here for a moment. But again, continuing to apply that pressure. That's the way to do it. Some guys will relax all of a sudden. They'll set the hook on their fish, and then they'll relax. And naturally, the fish is going to get its head on you and start to run. But if you swing, you wind down, you start to stroke on those darn things, you can turn them around, keep them coming. And there it is, deep color right now. You saw the whole sequence. This fish is in deep color right now. We're running up to the bow. Bob Alvarez and I, Bob's staying right with me. And you get a look at another nice 20-pound yellowfin tuna that came on board in a matter of minutes. Again, folks, keep the pressure on them. That's the way to do it. That's how to turn these things around. If you swing and relax, they're going to get their head on you, and you're going to be through. Nice job by Willie. Beautiful gap. And another yellowfin tuna on board the crest. All right, John, we'll excuse you. Your fish was belly hooked. And folks, when you have a fish that's belly hooked, you're not pulling it in a conventional way. It does take a lot more effort. And that was a tough one for John Ackley, but he got it on board. Here comes another yellowfin tuna. Is this what the 92 El Nino season was all about? You bet it is. Great fishing out there. 15 to 20 miles from Point Loma. And it's a dream come true for the anglers on board this charter, on board the crest. Only six guys, marvelous fishing. Here goes Pete June. He's hooked up with a nice fish and doing a nice job up there in the bow right now as he's got deep color on a fish. And folks, again, the anglers that are hooking up. There's a couple guys that are having a little bit tougher time on this trip. The anglers that are hooking up have gone to a little bit lighter line now. It's late in the bite. The thing is not as furious and fast as it once was. Those guys have gone to a little bit lighter amount of filament. They're choosing those good hot baits. They've dropped that hook side down, and they are doing a number on these fish. Those are the guys that are getting bit. Another nice yellow fin on board the crest. Beautiful job as this one comes on board. On the surface cruiser, everybody. All right. Watch it. Good job, Bob. All right, Bob Alvarez on fish. Rich, let me know when you're ready. You're right, Bill. Hydro Tiger. Is that on the Hydro Tiger? Yeah. You wiener. <laughs> we want to give everybody a look at that. Woohoo! What a beautiful fish! And look at that Hydro Tiger right in its mouth. Up it comes. Let's get a nice shot of that, Willie. Nice job. Bob, get in there. Really a nice fish. Beautiful. Let me get in on the popper, please. And can we still that a second? Can somebody grab the popper and just hold it still? Yeah, hold those hooks in there, man. <laughs> yeah, stick your hand right in there, Alvarez. What do we care? Anyway, folks, that's the popper. We'll give you a better look at it here. We'll lay it out for you. One way to take these yellowfin tuna now with the popper. It's incredibly visual. And it's a lot of fun, and Alvarez did a nice job. Good job, Bobby. Thanks, man. Folks, let's get back to Rich Holland and Bill Blake and the rest of them and find out what's happening. All right, here we are, big boil up in the boat. We've rejoined Rich Holland. <laughs> Still fighting the same fish. <laughs> Rich, you're having an awful time with this baby, aren't you? Or a fun time, I don't know which. <laughs> I think I'm out here having fun. <laughs> And Bill Blake, 
He's right behind us out on Bill the... Bill Blake is Bill Blake. Out pulpit, and he's doing a nice job. What pound again, Bill? 18. 18 pound mono. Look at that pole bin. Look at that thing bin. What, my back? <laughs> <laughs> that too. All right, there it is again, everybody. Rich Holland's fish. If this doesn't tell you how tough these fish are, and I see two color spots down oh, through the camera. Oh, we got Bill's fish and Rich's fish at the same time. You see Rich's fish? It's still squirrely as can be. Watch out, don't get it. There he is. Bill Blake's fish right here. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. On the crest. Back right up there with Mr. Blake. Bill? How's your back? Sure. How about your front? That George is <laughs> Nice job, you guys, and a beautiful, beautiful fish. Okay. Okay. We turn our attention back to Rich Holland on, and Rick Lyman, who have been locked up in a furious battle now for quite some time. This is what it's all about. Pulling on these things and seeing who's going to win. We've had color on Richard's fish a few times now, and we've got color on it again on both of them. Underneath. There you go. There we go. And on board it comes. Let's take a good look at that. Well, what do you think, Colin? A lot of fun, Phil. God darn, nice job, and that was... Now I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't count anymore. I'm filming. <laughs> Good job. All right, everybody. Rich Holland from Western Outdoor News with a beautiful fish. And in the background, well, we see Rick Lyman. So we'll kind of jump in there with Rick as Rich will go back and throw another bait, see if he can hang one. Bob Alvarez coming up with the popper. Bob, let's take a look at that while we have a chance. I'll be right back. Okay, and what's the idea? It creates a commotion on the surface, doesn't yeah, it? See what the, maybe you can yeah. Get yeah, that's exactly what those doggone hydro tigers and surface cruisers do. They create a commotion on the ocean. Remember in the very beginning when you showed you your tackle? Well, these things are very, very effective, and the visual aspects are what make it so exciting. Look at that thing. As Bob is winding that hydro tiger, you see that commotion on the ocean. And that's what drives these yellowfin into striking. Keep your eye on that thing right now, because a big yellowfin is going to come up and try to inhale it. Did you see that? That's what I love about fishing the surface cruisers and the hydro tigers, the visual aspects. You get to see those fish come up and crash on them. If you don't have one of those hydro tigers or surface cruisers or goofy looking things in your tackle box, you can always throw an iron out there and skip it along the surface. They'll come up and try to bite it. John Ackley, skipper of the crest. Nice yellow fan to the fish showing you another beautiful fish. And these things are raining on in this El Nino season of 1992. Another fish coming on board the yacht crest. It is as wide open as you could possibly want it. And folks, it's not just that they're 20 pound fish. That's a nice grade of fish. It's not that we're just 20 miles from home. We got a two hour ride to get back to the dock. But everybody on board's got close to a limit of fish. It is a scenario that you couldn't have written out. It is so marvelous out here. Flat, calm, sunny day. Eddie Pasilio back there in the stern, ready to put on another nice yellow fin tuna. It's a dream come true for the anglers on board this yacht. And remember, the yachts are an alternative to each and every one of you. I love fishing the sport boats, but boy, every once in a while, it's nice to jump on a yacht, isn't it? Six anglers, that's it. They're all your buddies. You can have a magnificent time. Dave showing you another nice yellow fin there. And here I get another fish on board. They've got to be absolutely wide open. And folks, Bob Alvarez insisted that we show you this exercise in agility. Watch me try to pick this thing up. Man, I'll tell you, it pays to stay in shape. Easy to bend over there, huh, Phil? I'm having an awful time trying to pick this yellow fin tune up. But I finally get it after about 20 minutes or so. And I get to jump in there with Rich Holland. Well, great day on the crest. We'll see you on another sport boat in a moment.